Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here. In this video today, we're going to talk about Turbo 360 and we're going to talk about a new feature where we can generate a network diagram. So in the product, we have four modules. We have business applications, which is about the IT operations view of your environment. Cost analyzers about FinOps and try to optimize your solution to reduce cost. Business activity monitoring is about integration workloads and try to get self-service integration for users and the one we're talking about today is the azure document module which is where this feature lives so inside turbo 360's document module here i can add a um, a new document that i can configure so i would choose my service principle so i'm going to choose my uh, demo environment here and then I've got the choice of which document do I want to generate. So I'm going to choose my network diagram down at the bottom here. I can then choose some filters. So with a filter, I could choose things like which resource groups, which locations do I want to kind of target my document to focus on. I can do things like tags as well. Um, in this case, I'm just going to leave it completely blank and it'll just choose everything that the service principal sees. <clears throat> we then decide how we're going to publish the document. So in this case, I'm choosing to store it internally in Turbo 360, but you can push it outside to a storage account as well. And then that would be my document going and queuing and getting generated. And then I can schedule it if I want. If I want to download, so I've got a pre-generated document um, from earlier. So I can just click that. That downloads my latest version of that um, of that diagram that's been generated. Now, at this point, there's a, a key sort of decision that we made with the product. So, what we don't want to do is we don't want to build our own version of Lucid Chart or some third-party kind of competing diagramming product. So, there's already loads of products out there that do diagramming. Um, we've chosen to integrate with Draw.io, so it's a kind of a, a free tool that you can use it and get a desktop version or a cloud version and the file that gets downloaded we can open that is um so it's basically an xml file so i can open that into draw.io and then this will show me the structure of what the diagram kind of looks like so i've got my virtual network my machines my subnets so that's kind of the, the structure of the diagram but my physical diagrams here so I can see if we take a look at a few things here. So here's my virtual network. I'll have a bunch of subnets. So as you go across the diagram, you'll see the different subnets. In the subnet, I've got a, an NSG. I've got a network card, which is attached to a VM here. I can see the VMs got some disks attached. And then as you go across the diagram, you'll see the other VMs that are part of this subnet. And then you'll see other network cards that are in, integrated into other subnets within the virtual network. And the idea is really just to, to generate this diagram. You can then go and modify it if you choose to, or you can just have it pre generated again on a monthly basis as things start evolving. Now, some of the things that you can see, if we take a look um, on the diagram here, so on these, um, on these shapes, you'll be able to see just have to hover my mouse over it here you'll see a tool tip will come up so the tool tip shows you some details from the um from the resource itself so you can see that one's for the nsg you'll get ones for the um for the network card for the um for the vm so that one's showed up but i've got more tags on the vm so where we're at with this this um diagram we've got what we think's um what a lot of customers are going to benefit from we're looking for feedback of what other things we should add into the network diagram. So I think more details about the resources we can put on the on the tool tip, for example. Um, what other kind of resources do you want to be able to see on this diagram? Um, you know, what what scenarios do you have where you, you'd like to see? You know, maybe um, maybe if you've got multiple networks, we can display them in certain ways. But um, we think that, you know, certainly for the customers we've targeted with this um, feature, it's really helping them visualize the network. But we know that lots of different companies have different scenarios 
and different ways they'd like to see the data. So we're hoping this gets us a really good started network diagram that we can do lots more with in the future. And we'd love to hear customer feedback on what you think of um, this feature. Thank you for listening to today's video. We hope you have a great week and take care.